I'm Richard Clark. I record these talks every day as a way to deepen my inquiry. Listen each day and deepen your own practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk 389. Swami Lokshananda Asanyasi. What is meant by yana and vayana? Maharshi. These words may mean differently according to their context. Yana is samyana yana or pure consciousness. Vayana is vishaya yana. Vishaya may be either worldly relative knowledge or transcendental self-realization. Mind is necessary for vishaya. It modifies the purity of absolute consciousness. So vayana represents intellect in the sheath composing it, that is, relative knowledge. In that case, yana is common, samayana, running through vayana, samayana, prayana, ayana, mati, and driti, different modes of knowledge from the Ataya Upanishad, Chapter 3. Or, yana is paroksha, hearsay, and vayana is aparoksha, direct perception, as in yana vayana traptamata, one perfectly content with yana and vayana. In this dialogue, Swami Lokshananda asks Ramana Maharshi about the meaning of the terms yana and vayana. These are terms used to de describe different forms of knowledge. Ramana Maharshi provides a nuanced explanation, highlighting that these terms must be understood in context. Yana and Vayana can be understood differently based on context. Ramana refers to Yana as Samayana Yana, which means pure consciousness. It represents an undifferentiated fundamental awareness or knowledge that is intrinsic and universal. This pure consciousness is unmodified and unconditioned, reflecting the true nature of the self, Atman. Vayana, on the other hand, is termed Vishaya Yana, which means specialized or particularized knowledge. Vayana is mental. Vishaya can be either worldly knowledge or transcendental knowledge. As worldly knowledge, it is objective knowledge, knowing the world and everything in it as objects. Mind only comprehends things as objects. As transcendental knowledge, Vayana starts with intellectual understanding and reaches beyond it towards direct experiential knowledge of the self. This is what is often achieved through spiritual practice. It opens the door to experiential knowledge and self-realization. Ramana Maharshi emphasizes the necessity of the mind for vishaya or particularized knowledge. The mind, with its capabilities for reasoning and perception, modifies 
the pure consciousness into various forms of relative knowledge. This means that Vajana is intrinsically linked with the intellect and the sheath that makes it up. Vajana is a more specific and structured form of understanding compared to the general undifferentiating nature of jnana. He further explains that jnana, knowledge, can be seen as a thread running through different forms of knowledge. These refer to various levels and aspects of knowledge as detailed in the Atraya Upanishad, Chapter 3. These modes are Samyana, Mental Awareness, Prajana, Profound Intuitive Wisdom, Ayana, Ignorance or Absence of True Knowledge, Mati, Intellectual Understanding, and Driti, Steadfastness or Firm Knowledge. Ramana also contrasts Yana and Vayana in terms of Paroksha, indirect knowledge or hearsay, and Aparoksha, direct perception or experience. Paroksha is mental. Aparoksha is beyond the mind. Yana in some contexts is paroksha, knowledge that you may receive through teachings or scriptures without direct personal experience. Vayana, Ramana says, is aparoksha, indicating knowledge gained through direct personal experience and realization. Vayana starts with the mind's immediate impressions. The phrase yana vayana triptamata describes a state where you're perfectly content with both yana and vayana. This state signifies a profound realization where you are fully satisfied and at peace having integrated both forms of knowledge into your being. Ramana Maharshi's explanation of jnana and vayana underscores the layered and contextual nature of knowledge, distinguishing between pure consciousness and particularized forms of knowledge, both worldly and transcendental with an emphasis on the role of direct experience in true self-realization. So, know yourself and be always free and at peace. The book, Who Am I with Comments, is my take on these early teachings of Ramana Maharshi. It's available on Amazon, free to Kindle subscribers. A link is in the video notes. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments 